Senna. The brand you know and trust for motorcycle communication and connectivity is bringing you the new standard for your ride. Introducing the Senna 30K. Using Senna's patented and state-of-the-art mesh intercom technology, pairing has never been easier or faster. With the tap of a single button, the 30K will scan and instantaneously connect with all available headsets nearby, getting you and your group connected and out on the road in seconds. The self-organizing and self-optimizing mesh intercom system means never having to worry about who is paired together and in what order. With mesh intercom, everyone is connected to each other. Even if a rider falls out of range, the autonomous tech will actively search to find that rider and automatically reconnect once they're back in range without disrupting the group. In public mode, the 30K will easily pair with a virtually unlimited amount of riders within one mile. In private mode, a creator can invite up to 16 participants to join at a distance of up to 5 miles. Guests can request to listen in only to the private group, ideal for an instructor or leader to communicate in a larger group while several only listen. Technology should grow with you without leaving anyone behind. The Senna 30K houses dual processors allowing for both Bluetooth and mesh intercom communication at the same time, meaning you can talk with both 30K users on the mesh intercom as well as Bluetooth users all together. But it wouldn't be a Senna without the features you know and love. The 30K hosts audio multitasking, FM radio, the ability to make and receive phone calls, hear GPS directions, music, and hear crystal clear audio using Senna's advanced noise control. Welcome to the future of fast, flexible, and limitless communication. Meet the next generation of the tried and true Senna SMH5, the Senna 5S. Easy to install on any helmet. Add a soundtrack to any ride with newly shaped premium HD speakers and audio equalizer. Now louder and clearer than ever. FM on. Taking full advantage of the built-in FM radio and device connectivity. Phone connected. The new 5S communicates with a passenger or another rider using two-way Bluetooth intercom. Heard in HD quality. Control is made hands-free with eight languages of voice commands or visually configure the headset with the built-in LCD screen. And if the glove-friendly jog dial multilingual voice commands and visual LCD settings weren't enough, the Senna 5S can also connect to the Senna Utility app to configure radio presets, speed dial settings, and more. This evolved headset brings quality sound and ease of use to a classic Senna device. This is the Senna 5S. Your headset is paired. Installing the Senna into a helmet. Yes, there are a lot of pieces that come in the box, but this is so that there are options to fit on all different types of helmets. In this case, we're installing the 10S. First off, take the cheek pads out of the inside of the helmet. These are usually attached with three snaps or Velcro areas. Lift up or remove entirely the center liner. Now that the helmet is pretty much stripped of all of the padding, loosen the clamp up so that you can easily slide it between the inside and the shell of the helmet. Position the clamp where you'd like your headset to be. Next, take the wires and attach the speakers. They are notched and colored so that you can easily attach them. The mic cable is labeled and colored differently. Find the adhesive Velcro strips for the speakers and place these where you intend the speakers to be. Again, these are Velcro so you can easily position the speakers where you need for your ears, but just in the general area. If for any reason there's still a significant gap between your ear and the speaker, there are two different size spacers that you can use to push the speakers out closer to your ear. With one of the Velcro strips for the mic, attach the Velcro mic to it. For modular helmets, we recommend using the boom mic or the wired boom mic. Now, take some time putting all of the wires into the crevices and tucking them away neatly so that you can't feel any of them while you're wearing your helmet. Insert the center liner and the cheek pads again. Position the mic in between snaps. Make sure to pull the D-ring straps out of the cheek pads.
Now that the cheek pads are in, use the hex wrench to tighten the clamp and double check the position that it's in. Now attach the unit to the helmet. Connected. Hey Cardo, music on. Music on. So when talking Bluetooth mesh DMC comms, a funny thing happens and we see it all the time. We run into a lot of people, a lot of riders where they've never had a comm device on their helmet and they're totally cool with that, right? Not, they have no interest in the world to talk to somebody else, stream music, in fact, that's part of the reason why they get on the bike. This crazy thing happens, whether, whether their buddy forces them to have one or say they bite the bullet and they put one on there anyways, very quickly you see this transition and it happens as short as in one ride. Well, I could talk to you just by talking normal? This is pretty cool. Probably go right here, right? I think so. I like some of this old architecture, like these buildings, kind of like Art Deco style a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you when I have to go to the bathroom? Yeah, okay, yeah. I can, you know, I can ask you if it's clear when I'm coming around that big rig, and you can just say, yeah, come on up. In, in a very short period of time, you see, you see riders that are brand new to it and almost had a stigma against it, lean into saying, yeah, you know what? This is awesome, I get it now, this is cool. The ease of use plays a big role in that. DMC, Cardo's DMC was, was strike number one as far as like, it just turn it on and you go, it works really well. But natural voice, natural voice commands is something special, and something unique, and it's never been done before. Voice commands have been around in this industry for quite some time. In fact, Cardo with the G9 was the very first. Natural voice, which is found in Cardo's Freecom 4 Plus, PackTalk Bold, PackTalk Slim, this is one step operation. You say, hey Cardo, in the command in just a normal cadence, and it works. Example, hey Cardo, volume up. Cardo, volume up. It's gonna give you an increment of volume. I'm not touching any buttons. More examples, hey Cardo, battery status. She might say full, she might say 50%, she might say 25%. At that point, you better charge it, but she's gonna answer you with your battery status. Hey Cardo, battery status. Battery status, full. The Hey Cardo commands, they sit inside the unit itself. They don't need your phone for anything. Hey Cardo, radio on. Hey Cardo, next station. Hey Cardo, music on. Uh, hey Cardo, volume down. Hey Cardo, dot, dot, dot. There's 20 of those. You load some of them to your memory bank and your Cardo takes care of that. Now, on the flip side of that, or on the other segment, you can, you can pull up your smartphone. Hey Siri, okay Google. Now you're telling your phone to wake up. So example, hey Siri, you wait for the little doo-doo. What's the weather in Sturgis? Boom, she's gonna tell you what the weather in Sturgis is. And that's your phone doing the magic, not the Cardo unit. Your Cardo's just saying, hey phone, wake up. The takeaway is the Hey Cardo commands, those live inside the Cardo unit itself and that it can do quite a bit. When you say, hey Siri, okay Google, wait for that little tone from your phone, say open Spotify. Any command that your phone can do, you can access it right from the Cardo unit. And that's natural voice, extremely unique and it's actually voice commands you'll use. Today we'll be checking out the FOD Sports FX8 and the FX8 Air helmet Bluetooth intercom headset and having tested them as thoroughly as possible which I'll actually be reviewing in full in today's video and we'll be exploring what's exactly different between the two and how they stack up against the competition. Let's take a look. As you'd expect from the FODSPORTS, the intercom are packaged very nicely and unboxing experience is essentially the same for both intercom. We start off with the intercom unit and then we have the usual manual, a short USB charging cable, headphone and mic kits, hard tube microphone, a wired microphone and other parts. They thus stay here. Okay, putting the FX8 Air aside, Let's start with the look of the FX8. The surface of the FX8 is made of a matte material, has a large rotary button, is made of ABS material and has a matte surface that looks very textured. It can be seen that it has a base that is used to connect to the audio cable. It also has an antenna to boost the signal. Let's dial it out and see. The back of the FX8 is flat which is convenient for the installation of the back clip. At the top of the FX8 are some function keys. All right, let's talk about the look of the FX8 Air. The finish of the FX8 Air is a glossy ABS material, which looks cleaner, also has large rotary buttons, and a matte finish that looks very textured. There's also an antenna to boost the signal. Let's dial it out and see. 
The audio interface of the FX8 Air is type C and its back is flat which is convenient for the installation of the back clip. It also has some function buttons at the top. Since the function buttons of the two products are similar, I put the pictures directly. Let's see how it looks on a helmet. It looks really nice. They are fully protected against light splashes through the IPX4 or the IPX5 water resistant ratings. Next, I will show you several functions of the FX8 and the FX8 Air, how to answer calls automatically manually. FX8, V+, V-, Intercom button. Press and hold these three buttons at the same time for five seconds. FX8 Air, V+, V-, Intercom button. Press and hold these three buttons at the same time for three seconds. So how do we wake up the voice system? FX8 Air, short press the mode button fx8 short press previous button twice how does the battery reminder work when the device is turned on short press the previous button and the next button at the same time you can hear the beep sound the more battery the more the beep sound lower battery only beeps once now let's test their sound quality they're all doing pretty well Hey guys, welcome to the Fox Sports channel, I'm Jimmy. It is worth mentioning that the FX8 Air also added EQ sound effects, which can be switched sound effects when listening to different types of songs. Let's take a look at this. Performance as well, hi-fi bass. Popular golden classic. Pure human voice. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. FX8 and FX8 Air basic function introduction. 900 millionth lithium battery, Bluetooth 5.0, external antenna booster signal, 0.31 mile communication range. Introduction of different functions between FX8 and FX8 Air. FX8 support 8 people intercom, micro USB charging port, support noise reduction function, supports connection to Senna or Cardo intercom headsets. FX8 Air support 2 people intercom, type C charging port, does not support pairing with other brands. If you regularly ride in groups or enjoy making friends, the FX8 is the best choice. The FX8 Air only supports 2 people and does not support pairing with other brands. That's more than enough for your daily commute. While well, couples who ride together a lot can also opt for the FX8 Air. In terms of price, the FX8 Air is cheaper than the FX8.